Hello, this is David from the tech support team here at Atlantech, and in this video we're going to be looking at forms and the configuration on how to build and modify forms within your system in order to make your world paperless. You can take anything that you can think of that you have on paper, on a desk, on a clipboard, and otherwise you can build that information to be captured here right within your system and it can be accessed from anywhere, from your members, from anywhere on an iPad or even their phone. So let's go over here to the forms tab here and take a look at the configurator here. Now if we want to design a new form, there's the ability to do that right in the upper left hand side here and you can start clean and be able to adjust your form titles and add by using drag and drop the fields here and the choices of types here on the left and drag them over to where you want them to be on your form. And we'll build one of those here in a moment. But I wanted to look at here at the right hand side where you can see your active forms listed within your system that you can click to and modify and adjust settings to if you wish. Each form does have their own set of settings. If you want to just jump to those features and what the details entail there, just jump to like the last third of this video. You can also choose from sample forms here if you want to look at some examples of other forms that we've pre-built um, as defaults within your system to see if something might fit that for your particular needs. You can certainly look through those examples and look at any of those sample forms and save them as your own form and save it as an active form and adjust it accordingly within your system. You'll also see a list of archive forms here. If any of your active forms become out of date or no longer needed, you can set them to be archived and then they can be put in this particular list and not be part of your active forms list for your members and keep them organized that way. So let's go ahead and design a new form. Let's say you have some members here that need to submit when they work overtime or comp time on a shift and they just need to let you know that they've worked an extra an hour or two so you can make that adjustment on your schedule so let's go ahead and do that here we're going to rename this form your ot comp time request form and then you can start taking some information from the left here we're going to start out with some general info now we have different types of fields here, such as text fields, short and long answer, list option fields, such as select list, a multi-option list if you want to need to select more than one, check boxes, date fields, number fields, a signature box that we'll put in here for people to sign off. Uh, and we have smart fields available for you too that are pre-filled with options from your system, such as members. You can bring in a members field. Let's just bring that one in right now and say, when they're filling out this particular field, please choose which employee this overtime is for. And if you hover over that, you get the option to delete it with the trash can or edit the field with the pencil. And then you'll see it's pre-populated with all the members from your particular active member database there. You can make any of these values default if other than blank and also required if you wish as well. Schedules can be pre-populated as a smart field as well with a list of all your schedules if it refers to one of those. Uh, and then also layouts are optional here. This is a normal section layout, but you may want to bring in, say, a grid section where you can build it out that way with multiple rows and multiple columns and add those field details within those settings there. Let's just trash can that for now and descriptive text if you need to put some instructions say on your on your form as well so let's bring in a date uh, let's get a short answer field here so we can say time started for the overtime shift and then maybe a time ended and a total And then maybe a longer answer to put in the reason why. And then maybe even a choice from a select list to say, you know, how do they want this paid? How do, how to pay overtime? In some services, you know, they get the choice of getting it paid, you know, as overtime, or maybe to put it towards my comp time bank. And you can add that field option there. And then when they choose that field, they get those choices. 
Now let's bring in a layout field here for the administration, uh, such as a normal tech, uh, normal grid field here, admin only. And then we can bring in a multi-option checkbox, so to speak, where we can say, they can say whether it's approved or denied. And then maybe another members field here that says approved by. Um, let's make this a one column section to give it a little room here and bring in a signature box so they can sign off on that as well. And then make sure to save any changes that you make there. And now when your members go in to submit this particular form, they're going to see it under the forms to submit here. And here's our new form, and this is what it will look like. And your members will go through and pick the names and details of what is necessary for a particular form. Like I said, you can make any of these forms or all these fields required and they would leave the admin section alone and let's say they start filling it out and then they get a call and they leave in the middle of filling out a form such as like an inventory checklist of some kind or, or a really long report incident report of some kind uh, they, they have the option here to save it as a draft and you can see here just now it auto saves as a draft as well so not only does it save on its own but the user gets the option to make sure that they are saving it as a draft if they have to get up and go and maybe fill it out later and then they can when they leave and then they come back they'd be able to see their draft here as a link over on the left hand side under their login and then any other previously submitted forms from themselves listed there as well and then within the configuration you can also change the settings you're going to want to review the settings of exactly who has the ability to see these forms who can submit them who can modify them who gets to see their reports for all the submissions that's all here within the settings option here so you're going to want to review this for each of your forms and you can just walk it right through here you also can set some form level notifications who do who needs to know about this form as soon as it's submitted you can choose between a work group or individual names or access levels so if it's just going to go to your top level administrators or maybe just your supervisors they will get notified when a new overtime form is submitted or the scheduler might need to know. Here's where you can set the permissions in each set here for the submissions. We want to say, well, everybody's going to be allowed to submit the form. Or maybe you want to choose it by group. Maybe just your full-time members as opposed to your part-time members have the ability to submit this form. Part-timers don't get overtime, but full-times do. So they want to make you can choose that group to submit the form based on a group. Same with reports. Who gets to see all the submissions for the reports for this form? Say your supervisors. It's good to use groups or access levels when setting these different options here because members leave and return and come back and come in and out of groups and then it automatically gives them the ability to see the forms that they need to based on what group they belong to as well. Such as modifying. Who's going to be allowed to modify the form? and just read through the options here. Maybe you want the members to modify their own submission or just allow selected members to modify submissions. Just the supervisors or individual names if you wish as well. Top level administrators will automatically be have that uh, ability as well. So look at those options, and if you have any forms that you would like us to build, you're welcome to do so and send it to us at support at aladtech.com. We're happy to take the time to build a form for you and go over it before it gets rolled out to members. And if you want to see some options in regards to how the reports work, please go look at one of our other help videos specifically tailored towards looking at the different report options for your forms. Thank you for using Aladtech.